Hey, how's it going today? <laughs> this is Nugget Noggin. <laughs> Nugget Head. <laughs> Old Doc Hollifield here. Yep. And right there's Jeff Kleperic. Jeff Kleperic. <laughs> <laughs> and we're about to go digging today. We're going out digging. Gonna dig some relics. I'm gonna show this young kid how to do it. Yeah, right. And I, bl I swear I believe he's got a whole bottle of Ben Gay rubbed on him today because <laughs> he smells like a liniment factory. No, I don't. That's my breath mint. So. <laughs> oh God, what a spot! <laughs> <laughs> he scared me. I thought there was a spider over there. <laughs> All right, we'll catch y'all later. All right, well, we're checking out a new spot here, and they cleared all this land. They're clear cutting the trees, and I went up here with my AT Pro just messing around because it looks like there could have been a house site up here. Anyway, I got a really good 32 signal, and, and it was right on top of the dirt, and it's a spur. Now, I thought it was just a modern piece of junk, but I showed it to Jeff, and he was getting all excited and everything. And, he, he thinks it's from the Revolutionary War, but it, I'm not sure. Is that really from the Revolutionary War? Or you, you don't know? But it's still a nice spur, though. Yeah, it's very nice. It's old. It's old. Very old, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Nice spur. Raw on it. Yeah, something else. So maybe there's some more around here. Oh, well, we're at a different spot now. Kurt and Jeff are up there. And I found a nice bullet. Looks like a Civil War pistol bullet. It's been fired. It's worth the marks on it. So that's, that's cool. Neat find. It was down only a couple inches. Found it with the small coils. Search around this area some more. Might find some better stuff. But they camped up there on the hill. The Confederates did. And this place has been pounded hard over the years by Jeff and lots of other people, but um, I'm sure there's still stuff left. Well, I just found a little brass buckle here, horse buckle, some type. It's pretty cool. Shut up like a 70, 69, 70 signal. I thought it was going to be a bullet at first, but it turned out to be a buckle. But... Well, think... we're back for a lunch break. I'm starving. Here's what I found so far at this site we're at. And a nice little buckle, horse buckle. And I have that bullet. I think Civil War bullet, I don't know. It's still a pistol bullet. <laughs> and here's some nails and stuff I found in the other field. There was a house site there. But some pottery. Anyway, I was actually using the AT Gold in this field we were just in. But I'll probably switch back to my trusty AT Pro right there. Let's see if we can find some more relics. So, keep just found me a nice old bent up spoon. Pretty neat. Also found part to old lock. The very front piece of it, if I could find it. It's in my pouch. Somewhere in there. I don't know. Anyway, no big deal. But it's just a brass piece off a of lock. The locking mechanism. But... Alright. Get back to you find anything else. Y'all might not believe this, but the small coil, that's basically the only coil I use. It goes just as deep as the big one for the AT Pro. That's what I'm using now, AT Pro. And I got a good signal. I mean, it was loud. And it was down in the bottom of this hole, which is about eight inches deep. And here it is. Some type of thing. It might go off of a lock. I don't know. Looks colonial. But I found a bunch of things since last time. A couple things. This goes off of a, a trunk or something. And I got a little horse buckle. So I'm doing pretty good. Most of the stuff is really deep though. Just found an old bottle here. It's wedged in between the rock. It won't move. Have to dig it out. It's not that old. It's machine made. Mm. I've checked in this crate. Uh, not many signals at all. But maybe I can get this bottle out. So I'll dig it out. Well, here it is. Back. It's a cork top. It's not that old. Maybe 1940s and later. But uh, machine made. Still a cool little find. Has some writing on there. That's cool. Alright, show you fine thing. Well, else. we were back at the spot from early this morning. Me and Jeff, and look what I just found. Nice cameo brooch. It's very cool. I also dug a cool buckle. I 
found them before. And a pocket knife. So far, I'm tearing it up. So. All right, I just got an awesome signal far. here. I showed up as a 78, and here it is. It looks like silver, like sterling silver. That's what I think it, think it is. It's some type of cool thing. I don't know what it was for, but Jeff is over there. He's about to go get his AT Pro. He brought an AT Pro today, and he's, uh, I guess you can say, getting jealous that every two feet I'm finding something good. So he's going to go break out his AT Pro and try it out. And it's as great as it looks. I mean, if you know how to use the machine, and if you have a good spot, AT Pro is killer. Killer machine. I have it set up with iron discrimination at 22 right now and small coil and it's just blowing my ears out with these great signals. Let's go find I some told more. Jeff how to set up his AT Pro and he's over there digging pocket watch parts and stuff. He's loving it. And I just got a great signal here. Here it is. Some type of thing for something. For a belt, most likely. Looks like it's uh, World War II related, probably. I don't know. That's cool, whatever it is. I found this thing here. It could be a like a cover to a matchbox or um, makeup kit. It's like a buckle at first, but it's not. Also dug an axe head. There's a nice axe head in there. Old axe head. I found that beside the big tree over there. This is a very productive house site. I've probably dug 30 mason jar lids and a bunch of other things. So there's signals everywhere. Had a really good That's signal right. here. Shrimp has a 78. It was down about six or seven inches. And I just got it out the hole. 77 signal might be a coin or something. Piece of brass. Oh, we do got a coin. No way. Wonder what it is. The Lincoln head on there. That's terrible. <laughs> It's a wheat penny. All right, I mean, that's that's nice. Nice wheat scent. Hey everyone, here's all my finds I found today. Had a pretty decent hunt, did all right. Found a nice cameo brooch. Really cool, has an attachment piece on the back of it. I don't know if you can see that. Very nice cameo brooch, I've found these before. Well, it's not really a cameo, but it's kind of like one. Still, nice old brooch. I found a pocket knife, old axe head, marble, a big brass thing here. This could have went off like a fireplace, like a, like a decorative piece. I don't know. Piece of huge piece of lead, some valve stems, pocket watch parts. That's all these are. Makeup compact. I found both pieces. This piece right here was the first piece I found. About 40 feet away, I found the other portion to it. It's pretty cool. I found two wheat pennies today. Not sure the years. A little decorative button. This very cool sterling silver, whatever it is. It's two pieces to it. But it would have went together like that. Found a modern bullet. I thought it was from the Civil War at first. It's not that old. After the Civil War. I also found a nice uh, buckle off like an army military web belt or something. I found these before. A really cool football here. It's like a football off of like a trophy or necklace or something. That's neat. Found a nice spur. It's not Revolutionary War, but it's probably early 1900s. Nice spur. Old curry comb. Some weird brooch objects. These could have went off horse saddles. I don't know. They're old though. Found a looks like part of a makeup compact rectangular one because it's not a buckle. Piece to a lock. Little horse buckles and a lady's belt buckle and this is probably an old earring. I found lots of old jewelry from the early 1900s and stuff. Found a latch off of an old trunk. Here's a neat little buckle from World War One. They also had them in World War Two, but mainly World War One. I've actually found them before that were 
uh, patented from like 1907. So that's neat. That's pretty much everything I found today. So thanks for watching. Good luck and happy hunting.